Hi guys, James from DBG here and welcome to something I haven't done for a while. Welcome to an unboxing video. Now, those of you remember, a few months ago I did a showcase of um, a British Flames of War Army. Now, unfortunately that happened to coincide with the financial crash thing that uh, we had for a short while. So all that's got, I have sold every single piece of my Flames of War stuff, all the stuff I had waiting to be painted, everything's been sold. Um, then with finances sorting themselves back out again, and with these being so damn cheap for what you get, it was, it would be silly not to. Anyway, so yes, welcome to Flames of War, fourth edition, doing it properly this time, not just doing a hash between second, third and fourth with all the books I had before. This is gonna be proper, fourth or version four flames of war um and i've got two of the releases that they've done uh, they had a pre-order last week uh, so this video is being done on the 12th of june there was a pre-order last week and i pre-ordered these i expect them to arrive on the release day which was the 8th of june they didn't um i pre-ordered them on a um from an online store that i use regularly and I was um, actually quite a bit disappointed that they didn't arrive on time. And so a couple of emails back and forth, and it turns out that Battlefront hadn't supplied them with enough, uh, which basically means that they sold me stock that they didn't have, which is very naughty. But a few emails back and forth, and uh, they arrived today. So it's, you know, four days late. Um, I was hoping to do this. Um, last week uh, in line with the 75th anniversary of D-Day uh, but obviously can't so I'm doing it now I was going to do a bit of history to do with D-Day as well but I don't think uh, with all the stuff that's gone on uh, the internet and um, television and everything has been full of D-Day stuff and don't really want to bore you anyway Without further ado, we're going to look at what I got. So we've got this Fortress Europa book. This is a, well, pretty much a get you by book um, for late war forces for the big four, which are um, in no particular order, but Britain, America, uh, Germany, and the Soviet Union. And there's lists in here uh, to get you by with your current um, collections that you may have. Um, the interesting thing I will note that um, the list in here, specifically for the Americans, is different, I believe, to the list that's in the actual box. So there's units in this box that aren't in this book. And I know there's a, a, a specific a D-Day America book coming out. Um, I think it's July. I think it's July, which is next month, obviously. Um, and they're trying to do everything... Uh, it's going to do the Americans, Germans and British before New Year. Um, I saw in a video um, that Flames War um, Battlefront put out. So yeah, Americans are first, then it's Germans, and then it's the Brits just before Christmas. And then all you Soviet players have to wait until next year, unfortunately, for a proper book and all your stuff. Um, but yeah, so this book is uh, it's a right book. Um, I've had a quick flick through already, hence why I know that the miniatures in this box do not match up the American miniatures in this box do not match up 100% with the list in this book but yeah it's very cool um, I'm going to give you a quick let's um, get this box down here and we'll have a quick flick through I'll find a open it randomly and we'll get a list sorry and so this is standard um, version 4 diagram there's your lists and your compulsion units. So you have to have a, an HQ, you have to have two combat platoons, and then everything else is in gray. And then there's a little note there that says that anything that pops up in black, so if you go over here, so in that one you can have Panzer fours and Panzer threes and what have you, I want a Tiger, in your other list. And then there's a list of support units behind that you can also add on. Uh, but obviously the ones in black are stuff you must have. So yeah, this is a book. It's a, uh, um, this was £15, I believe, um, for a hardback book. 
and there's quite a bit of history in here as well and lots of um, uh, interesting uh, photos and painting guides and unit building guides what size bases to use for your infantry and guns etc etc it's all in here so for a beginner or someone like me who's starting um, afresh so to speak um, it's actually quite a good book and I'll probably end up going quite back to it quite a lot but this is the proper starter set it's called hit the beach and in there you get a German and an American force you also get a rule book and some um, quick start guides, some dice, etc, etc, etc. All the things you would expect from a starter set. This is, apart from one thing, or two things, is identical to the open fire set that I released for version 3, I believe in 2012. So 2012 or 2014, I can't remember. Anyway, so about then, there's a set called Open Fire, and in it you've got a British slash American force and a German force. And if we flip over the back, you'll get to see what you get in the box. Right. Um, you get um, an American Sherman company with paratroopers, and you get a German grenadier company with Panzer IVs instead of Stugs. That's the only difference for the Germans. You get your two platoons, your um, Company HQ, your two pack 40s. Instead of Stugs, you get Panzer IVs. And in this one, the Shermans are American Shermans with the American cast hull and the American 76 turret. Instead of the uh, British Sherman fives with the Firefly. And if you look at here, it also gives you a list of all the stuff that is in there. As I said, the um, 76 Shermans, well, the Shermans with a 76mm gun and the parachute rifle platoon are not in Fortress Europe. Don't know why. They're not. Don't know. But anyway, let's get this back. Oh, and while I start, before I start, the uh, open fire when it came out, uh, well, as years ago, was £50. For all the stuff in there, that's actually a really good deal. This is £35. And you're actually getting slightly more stuff than you were last time. And I got it cheaper than that. I got 10%. So it was actually £31.50 with free postage. So yes, it was late, but I can't complain about the price. You're paying the same as you used to pay for a metal company of um, I think it's 100 miniatures and then here you've got probably about 80 odd miniatures plus 11 tanks and a couple of guns and yeah it's the um, what I'm looking for the value in here is immense so anyone wanting to get into flame draw this is the perfect place to start so get my trusty knife I'm just going to open this bad boy up. Sorry, there's not a lot of room on my table at the moment. I'm just waiting for stuff to dry on a commission I'm finishing up at the moment. So I have slightly less space than we do normally, hence why this box is moving around a bit. Anyway, cellophane's off. And we pop open the... Let's see if I can move that back a bit. Pop open the box. And... Oh! new box smell anyway so let's see what's in the box or you can see there's a whole load of sprues and obviously you've got the um tan which is the germans and your olive drab which is the americans but anyway so we have one two three four five six seven eight Shermans. We have three sprues to make them into 76 millimeter Shermans. You have one, two, three Panzer IVs. You have a bag of bases, which is essential. You have two um, pack 40 7.5 centimeter anti-tank guns. What we'll say on this is this gun shield, unless they've changed the type of plastic it was, 
you need to be incredibly careful when you're cutting out the gun shield. I would use a brand new blade. Don't use don't use side cutters. Use a scalpel and use a brand new blade and gently apply pressure. Otherwise, um, it will snap down a bit. I mean, it's easy to glue, but it's rather not glue it, to be honest. So, um, Dice, you need dice. There um, should be half and half green and gray. We have a bag full of infantry and tank crew. We'll look at that in a bit. And then we have, oh, there's the V1 rocket flying bomb that you use, you use for a um, objective or a desk guard or anything like that. You have a uh, instruction booklet of building your tanks and stuff. And then last but not least, we have another Ziploc bag and in there we have your um, unit cards, which I think are absolutely brilliant. Um, it's made playing the game so much better because all the information you need is right on this card. And as you can see, on the back of the card, you have a list of the companies you can use. And then, other stuff. anyway, so in here, we have an A5 rule book, which I have read, uh, but I will reread. We have the cards, as I said. And then we have the quick start guide, which is basically a 15, 20 minutes read. Read through this, it tells you exactly how to start playing the game. Then you want, when you want more detail, you go into the main rule book. So, without further ado, I'm going to move this stuff about a bit so we can have a look at, look at things. Oh, turn the dice. So I'm going to start with the Sherman. Now, I haven't seen this American Sherman before. Um, and this is the M4A1 with the cast hull. Or is it actually could be the M4 uh, with the cast hull. And it actually comes with um, a choice. You can have a British riveted gearbox there. And then there's the American slightly pointed one there. Uh, and you can see there's lots of a bit of stowage, there's oil cans, jerry cans, tarps. So yeah. So that's your M4A1 or M4. And this is your M4A1. As you can see, it's a slightly different hull. They um changed the way they did the um driver and bow gunners hatches that to make it easier for them to get out and actually slightly better armoured for them and then you've got a different type of turret and a 76 millimeter gun uh, which is actually quite a quite a powerful gun so there you go so there's three of those so that's um five m4s and three m4a ones that you're going to making your platoon we're going to now look at the panzer four now this is panzer four late there is another kit which does the Panzer IV early and mid in one lot. As you can see, there's Schertzen there and there. There's three three different sets. This is a rail that the armor plates would just slot on. So when they were damaged, they just get a new armor plate and slot it in place. There's brand new pristine ones. They've just come out of the factory. And then we've got ones which have had a bit of damage. And different sizes that they've just plopped on. And as you can see, the level of detail on these little tanks is actually really very good. I've made these before and they are very cool. Right, let's have a look at the infantry. He says, totally destroying the Ziploc bag. Right. Now, everything is mixed up on these sprues. Let's get the bubble right out. So. I see there's three sprues. This is a tank commander sprue. And it's got, I think these are all American, yeah, these are all American tank commanders. And 
then we have the infantry. Now these are a mix. I believe the top, yes, the top are German. There's a mix of um, gunners, officers, NCOs. And down here, there's actually gun crew for the Pack 40s. That looks like a, yes, that is a German tank commander just there. There's an American M1919 rounding machine gun down there. And the further you go down here, there's more Germans. I think, yeah, these middle ones here are American. There's more Germans down there. And there's your, there's one of your officers. And the bloke with the Panzerfaust. The bloke with the Panzer Shrek. And then on this one, there's going to be similar that way up. You see there's a radio operator there. And more. He's part of the gun crew. And then we flip it over. Yeah, so there you go. There are all the miniatures. I think, I think that's pretty much it. He says, let's just have a quick look at the quick start guide before we um, finish all this off. So as usual, this quick start guide is gonna give you a bit of blurb about the game. It's gonna break everything down into movement because it's, like, um, it's like 40K. Uh, it does movement, shooting, assault. So there's movement, there's shooting. Let's see, it opens up like that. And you see this, all the information gives you a bit of a sneak peek of the, uh, some of the Soviet stuff. And on the back, gives you more stuff. That shooting, and then we've got assaults. Right at the very end. I knew someone was going to look at. Where are they? Ah, yes. The unit cards. The unit cards. So, here we have your um, army selector, I suppose, and it gives you all, gives you the list of support units you can have for the formation. And that is your formations that you can choose from. So there's loads you can choose from there. And then it gives you all the uh, movement orders that you can do then. And it's the same for the Germans at the back there. You've got all the different companies you can choose. And the same thing, there's your support options. There's your movement orders. And then Last but not least, we have these excellent, excellent cards. And you see, it gives you everything you need to know. It gives you the dice rolls you need to hit them, to assault them, to assault, to shoot. And then on the back, it gives you the points costs of everything. And all you can see here is the new point system, which is um, uh, seems to be done in um, slightly smaller numbers, so I think all I've done is knocked off the zero, to be honest. So two is seven points, when there would be about 70 or 80 points. Back in the old system, then we've got Panzer IV. And we have a Grenadier Platoon. Pan another Panzer Grenadier Platoon. Then there's your German movement orders. Then we have the M4 Sherman. The M4 Sherman HQ, the 76 Sherman, which is interesting because it's not actually in the um, Fortress Europe book. I'm just looking at the points. Both armies here are roughly around 35 to 40 points, which is not bad. And then, oh, look, you've got some veteran stuff here, which is going to be slightly more points. Yeah, there's veteran stuff here, so you can add the point, um, represent some units that have been fighting in Africa and landed on a few days after D-Day. And then there's the, um, the American Movement Orders. We have the Panzer Grenadier HQ Company. And then last but not least, the Parachute Rifle Platoon. 
which is not in the book. And yeah, it's, it's 14 points for a full platoon, which is what you get in here. So yeah, it adds up roughly. Uh, the Germans, I believe, add up to about 39 points and a little bit of mathematics here. Um, the Americans add up to about 38 points. So yeah, they're both roughly 40 point armies. So, there we go. That is the contents of the box um, and the book. Um, these are going to go away because um, I've just finished a job and I'm about to start another job which is quite large. So these are probably not going to get done for a while, to be perfectly honest with you, which is a bit of a shame. Um, but it does give me a chance to add a box here and a box there over for the rest of the year. So I should be able to get both forces up to about 100 points, which is the average size of what would be a 1500 or 1750 point game in 40k roughly a 1500 point game in old versions of this so yeah that's what the plan is for that so as usual guys thank you for watching do all the youtube stuff like and subscribe and check out the links in the description for white shark gaming and goblin gaming and click on the link for goblin gaming straight to the shop and then you help us out um, as well as getting yourself a bit of a discount on some really cool toys and as usual guys thank you for watching and i'll catch you next time